Hi beautiful people, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Rory Sang Mabukhane. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. It's great to have you in my little corner of YouTube where we speak all things adulting, faith, career development, personal development, lifestyle, the works. Anything and everything that is relevant for us to navigate our young adult lives. Before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button, that red button better turn gray give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below what you enjoyed about today's video and what other videos you'd like to see share this with anybody and everybody who you think might need it and last but not least hit those notification bell so that you do not miss another video so without wasting any more time let us get straight into today's video so we're back back again with another sit down i can't remember did we have a sit down last time listen i'm yeah anyway today's video is a live update but please stay tuned because i have a massive announcement at the end of this video that you guys need to hear um so today's video is probably not going to be long i just want to give a life update especially from a career point of view um i feel like you guys know that i transitioned or for those who are new here actually um i was previously in management consulting i was a strategy consultant um at one of the big four firms and that was for about three years and then in january of this year i moved into the banking space which has been very interesting um and today i basically want to speak about that um i also just want to catch up with you guys it's been a minute year in fatigue has me by the neck i have nothing else to say if i disappear over of youtube for the rest of the year let's come a minute at me because i am exhausted guys i'm so tired um and I think it's because of the amount of changes that have taken place throughout this year, right? Um, but the biggest change that I want to chat about and what we always delve into on this channel is um, my career. So as I mentioned, I moved into banking and I was initially hired as a senior strategy analyst within the card acquisition space. However, a lot of changes took place. So my boss resigned the day I joined, right? Um, so I only had a month with the lady that hired me. Um, and shortly after she left, we got moved into a different division, right? Um, and the biggest lesson that I can tell you guys about banks is that they restructure a lot, right? Um, I, I haven't even been there for a year, but from what I've picked up, they restructure a lot. So um, we got moved into a, business, a new business unit and that meant new reporting lines and so forth. And basically in the past eight months, nine months, I've had five different bosses. Um, <clears throat> six if we're including the boss I had <laughs> at my big four job. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been quite an interesting journey. Um, I've learned a lot, I think more about myself, but a lot of it has taken a toll on me, like from a mental capacity point of view and so forth and i think that's why i've just been struggling to show up for you guys but i'm really just trying to end the year strong um and yeah so today's catch up is all about that um my job profile is currently in the process of changing quite a lot i'm moving closer to the product side of things meaning i will probably be alongside um you know product managers and product owners and working very closely with product specialists um which Yes, does touch strategy, but it's not just strategy focused. You know, I don't just do like analyses of market trends and, you know, make or help contribute to business decisions based off of that. Now I'm like going to be working closely with, you know, tech squads and all of that to bring in product requirements and so forth, you know. So there's a lot of learning that I'm taking um, or that I'm undergoing. And you guys know I absolutely love learning, um, which is a lot. But at the same time, it's also come with a lot of responsibilities as well, because um, the boss that I currently have, I don't know if it's God's favor on my life or what, but I feel like he trusts me so much. Um, and because of that like i find myself sitting in rooms that i'm not supposed to be in i find myself having conversations with people i'm not supposed to be having conversations with i find myself you know closer to the detail than what i ordinarily would be at my level of work um and i i think it's just god's hand man i think um the previous you know um bosses that i had within you know my move to this bank um 
were awesome bosses don't get me wrong but i think they were just so busy and their plates were so busy that they didn't have the time to actually see me say hey i want to learn put me in there hey i want to learn put me in there yes i'm tired but hey i want to learn expose me to that and the current boss i have understood me from day one we actually had a good working relationship before he actually became my boss um and yeah it's been great i think um once like i've settled into my new role which is so weird to say because technically it's not a new role but it's a new role you know what i mean like i'm no longer a senior strategy analyst you know um like i said i'm most probably going to be called either a product lead or a product manager or something um so yeah the job spec has changed a lot and that's why i've been extremely quiet about the type of work i do because i know when i was in consulting i would tell you guys a lot about the work that i've been doing um, and the kind of work that i do on a day-to-day -day basis but right now it's been so difficult because i had some responsibilities from the previous job that i was actually hired to do and then when we moved into the product space i got new responsibilities and then now that i've moved into this new role within the product space um it's a completely different ball game as well so it's been quite an interesting few months um i've learned a lot like i said not just from a subject matter point of view but also from a personal point of view about um you know how resilient i actually am i didn't realize that i'm like i i was i could have literally picked up the phone and called my old boss and said listen i'm coming back you know um but i didn't i wanted to stick it out because i want to learn as much as i can um i really want to grow myself and i actually had these conversations with my boss that i need you to expose me to certain things so that i can grow into a subject matter expert i want to be an expert within the financial services space particularly in payments but i don't want to just i guess limit myself to payments you know strategy wise um subject matter wise i am trying to do that and i'm also doing a lot of networking as well going to different expos and so forth um i'm going to an expo in october which is a two-day um, experience which i actually got for free they reached out to me on linkedin and said hey we see that you're in the payment space don't you want to come through um and bring a friend or two or ten I'm not joking, actually, colleagues slash friends. So I then shared that with my team as well. Um, but um, I'm really just trying to position myself within the market as someone who is reliable, someone who, even though she doesn't know, she's willing to put up her hand and figure it out as she goes. And that's kind of the name that I've, or the narrative that I've created amongst my team members as well, that this girl is always willing to help, always willing to learn. She just needs you to sit down with her and explain it to her like she's a five-year-old because she's going to tell you point blank that she doesn't know what's going on. Um, but she's happy to help once you've explained to her what's going on. So that's basically what's been happening. And like I said, as I, you know, calm down in my new career and my proper you know job profile has been you know specked out and um changed and all of that you know um then i'll have more to tell you guys about the things that i do on a day-to-day -day basis so right now it's quite high level what i'm telling you guys um yes i have already started acting within that new capacity um but yeah yeah so um yeah it's been very interesting but nonetheless this video guys um, okay, before I do the announcement, from a mental health point of view, I did, I did mention that I am very, very tired. Um, I feel like I've been experiencing year end fatigue from March. Um, and I think it's genuinely because of the massive, like, you know, life change. Um, starting a new job hasn't been easy, especially when I started the new job and then there were a lot of changes within the new job as well. So it hasn't been an easy journey. So I have been extremely drained. Um, but besides that, I'm all right. Um, you know, still going to therapy, still, you know, trying to do the job, get the work done that needs to be done in order for me to remain floating, remain standing. I'm not here to glamorize therapy it's not fun but it is necessary sometimes and for myself i felt you know that i was at a place where i needed it and that's currently what i'm going through you know um and it's been quite a journey i must say um i'm learning a lot about myself i'm learning a lot about you know um things that are part of my behavior right now 
that I observed growing up from like my parents, for example, and thought they were normal, but they're actually not. There's, you know, there's just so many things that I'm learning about myself within this whole therapy healing journey. Um, because yeah, there's a lot of things that I thought were no normal and people are just like, they're not normal. It's just you grew up in certain environments that made it seem normal, you know? So yeah, that's that. Um, so mental health work, friendships, you guys still see my vlog, so I'm not going to speak much about that. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to also be very intentional because within this product manager role, um, you know, there are a lot of late nights because we have testing and deployments and all of that stuff like this a lot you know so i'm trying to get back into a routine that also allows for that you know part or that aspect of my job as well which has been a bit of a shock to my system because the first few months were very quiet while people were trying to figure out okay this lady hired you she's not here anymore now we need to figure out what to do with you you know um and i'm finally finding that home and because it was such a slow start um to the year and as much as i was busy it was a slow start but now things have picked up like rapidly and i'm just trying to get back into a routine and because i'm so exhausted um it's just that time of the year where i'm just like let's let's call it a wrap you know and now because i work in a bank there's no such thing as we're closing on the 15th of december like banks don't close guys you know so i'm just trying to figure out you know how that rest component looks um but i'm really just trying to find that balance so um gym has and has always been you guys know um a constant for me um and i'm really just trying to keep consistent with gym because i am a homebody so i rarely leave the house i go to work and i go to gym and i go to church um if you see me outside of the house off like anywhere apart from those places know that it was like planned months in advance you know so um because of that i'm just trying to find that balance and get back into a routine figure out if my previous routine still works for the job that i'm in now you know also because i work further meaning i have to leave the house earlier and all of that stuff so it's just there's just been a lot of change but nonetheless the moment we've been waiting for this announcement guys i've been working on this for you guys for months i started working on this in june for you guys um before june but like properly in june um and we are finally going live with this project with this series and i'm so excited so excited to announce that we will be taking part in vlogtober this year I don't think I did Vlogtober last year. If I did, it was like probably one video once a month and it was like a vlog. But this this year we're doing at least three videos a week. Um, excluding weekends. Weekends are my time to prepare for the next week. But Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. From the 2nd of October until the 30th of October you will be seeing my face on this channel and the content that i have started preparing for you guys is insane now you guys know i don't follow the status quo so yes there might be vlogs here and there but i don't want to promise vlogs we are having a career series on this channel where we are going to highlight a lot of different careers that you can go into as a young person either someone who's starting out their career or someone who wants to pivot into something new and this comes from a lot of conversations from you know some people that i've been mentoring where they're like listen i don't know what to study or like i think i studied the wrong thing or whatever and a lot of them when you ask them what they want to be it's either they want to be a chartered accountant a doctor or an engineer or a lawyer you know and i'm bringing in a whole lot of different other people to come in and chat to us about the different types of careers that are out there because there is so much more than just those four that i mentioned so please stay tuned i'm super excited make sure your notification bells are on because you do not want to miss this jam-packed month of october we will be learning a lot i've been learning a lot as i've started recording with some of the guests that have come in already um and yeah man i'm just excited to learn alongside you guys to learn about different careers to learn that maybe you know after banking this is where i could pivot into because you guys know one thing about me i always want to be in a position where i'm learning and if i feel like i'm not learning anymore in the space that i'm in 
let's see what's out there you know um so this is very important for people who are in a position where they're looking to pivot out of their current career where they might feel like they've chosen you know the wrong career or someone who is in high school because i know um, i have a few high scholars that watch my channel or if you're in varsity and you're trying to figure out what to specialize in maybe in your honors year or your final year or whatever this career series is for you and man the people i'm bringing in are power houses such intelligent people um and to be able to say that i have these people in my space is wild to be able to say that i rub shoulders with such incredible such strong-minded strong-willed driven determined individuals is insane and i'm so truly blessed that i have people from different career paths different walks of life and i think that's the beauty of you know community right whether it's from my church community some are from my church community some are from my work community some are from my previous work community some are from the youtube community some are from my instagram community i have made such a great you know circle of people that are from different careers of life where i'm able to say hey please can you come and empower my people because i'm quite sure they're sick of seeing just my face because in as much as I empower you guys with a lot of things, there's only so much I can teach you guys, right? There's only so much I can research for you guys, as opposed to actually having someone come in and sit here and say, this is what my life actually looks like as an ABC. So I'm so excited. Make sure those notification bells are on. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you are literally on your game from October, the first video is going out on the 2nd of October, which is a Wednesday. So we're trying to aim for Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, we'll see if we have Sunday videos throughout October, we'll, we'll see. But Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, we will be getting videos. If there are more videos, just know that it's because I broke my back to spoil you guys. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, with that, we've reached the end of today's video. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on my life, on what has been happening. It's been a very emotional season. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'd also know that um, last weekend was the um, tombstone unveiling of my grandfather and my great grandmother. And you know, you actually realize that life happens so quickly that you don't take time to sit and heal, you know? Um, and I'm currently now, I feel like I'm only starting that healing journey now, you know? Um, and that grieving journey now so it's been quite an interesting few weeks quite an interesting few months this year has been nothing short of interesting god has just shown me that he is a god that favors you when you are willing to use your hands to work for his glory and everything that i've touched even from a campaign point of view those who follow me on instagram you've seen that i've been super busy with campaigns like there's just a lot that, you know, my hands have been touching. And I think that also contributes to how tired I am right now. But that's besides the point. Um, I think, you know, when we pray certain prayers, we don't realize how much God can actually do. And God is showing me that, baby girl, I can do a lot. Just give me the space to do it. You know what I mean? And here I am saying, Lord, listen, I asked for it. So I can't complain as tired as I am. Let's go. You know, um, busy at church quite quite busy at church um but that's nothing new you guys know that i've always been busy at church um yeah so this was just a quick life update a mental health update work update but also the most important announcement is the career series that is starting on the 2nd of october so i will see you guys on wednesday which is in three days two three days so I'll see you guys on Wednesday. I'll see you guys on Friday. And then next week again. And then the week after. The, and then the week after. Guys, there are so many careers out here that not even I knew about. So I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. Not just if you're trying to pivot or figure out if you want to go into. But even if it's just to learn. Like knowing this type of knowledge is so good when you go into a networking space where you are going to be speaking to people from different walks of life and you're like oh yeah i know that a financial manager does a b and c you know what i mean i know that you know a lawyer does a b and c um a pharmacist does a b and c it's really good for you guys to know some of this information so um with that being said 
I will see you guys on Wednesday. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share, and make sure that those notification bells are on. Make sure those notification bells are on. And with that, with so much love and so much light from me to you, have an incredible rest of the day. Stay safe. God bless. And I'll see you in a few days. Bye, guys.